Toyota finally revealed new solid-state battery for 2023. Consider a battery for an electric vehicle that has a range of more than 300 miles, charges in about 10 minutes, doesn't need a large heating or cooling system, can hold an 80% charge for 800 cycles or roughly 240,000 miles, and isn't prone to spontaneous combustion. Such is the solid-state automobile battery's potential. It is the holy grail that automakers and suppliers are vying to discover. Toyota has now indicated that a working prototype of the solid-state battery will be available by the end of the following year. Take a moment to ponder the effects of this technology before you try to quit and hit the exit button on your screen. Although a 10-minute charge still takes longer than it does to fill a gas tank with liquid fuel, having to plan your lunch while your car recharges is far worse. Range and charge times are the major challenges to EV adoption, as it would enable battery-powered electric automobiles to finally defeat internal combustion, a small quick charging battery might be the EV counterpart of the electric starter. Hey guys, welcome back to EV Zone, where we tell you the latest and trending news about electric vehicles. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any information. And before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. Compared to the liquid state batteries currently in use, solid state batteries have the potential to increase the driving range of electric cars while also speeding up charging and costing less. The majority of the big automakers are working on solid-state batteries because of this, and Toyota may be leading the way. Up until recently, Toyota was hesitant to create battery-powered vehicles, preferring hydrogen fuel cells instead. According to the Nikkei, Toyota has been studying solid-state batteries since the 1990s, and its patents cover a broad range of topics including battery structure, material, and production procedures. Toyota and Panasonic have a joint venture company that produces batteries, including solid-state models. Toyota is also a member of a Japanese group that is investigating the technology. Nissan and Honda are among additional partners. Meanwhile, real research is being done every day to produce ever more high-performance, cutting-edge technologies that can ensure higher range, power, and ever shorter charging periods in the lithium battery industry, which is a sector that's always expanding. In this regard, solid-state battery technology can appear to be the cutting edge of science, a currently underdevelopment idea with the potential to revolutionize the way people travel by electric vehicle. A solid-state battery is simply battery technology that uses a solid electrolyte instead of the liquid electrolytes that are the driving force behind lithium-ion technology. It is crucial to take a step back and comprehend how lithium-ion batteries function in detail, as well as how they differ from this new technology, in order to be able to compare the main differences about solid-state batteries. And let's take a look first with the structure of a lithium-ion battery. Each and every lithium-ion cell has two electrodes, or substances capable of intercalating lithium ions inside their structure. The positive pole of the battery, known as the cathode, which is made up of cathodic material, such as LFP, NMC, LMO, etc., and the current collector. A battery's negative pole, or anode, which is formed of the anodic substance, such as carbon or graphite, and a current collector. A central separator, also known as a thin layer of plastic polymer, like polyethylene or polypropylene, serves as an insulator and mechanical separator between the anode and the cathode. A liquid organic substance called an electrolyte, which contains lithium salt, is the medium through which ions travel. The electrolyte acts as a connecting element between the cathode and the anode, filling the entire volume inside the cell, soaking the electrodes, and allowing the lithium ions to travel. The separator in a modern lithium ion battery serves just as insulation and is completely drenched in the liquid electrolyte that fills the entire cell and acts as a genuine conduit for the movement of lithium ions between the cathode and anode, and the latter of which is constructed of a graphite structure. So as the lithium ions pass through the electrolyte, they intercalate themselves into the crystal structures of the two anode electrodes and two cathode electrodes, structures which have empty spaces inside, where the lithium ions fit as they are very small particles. A solid state cell, on the other hand, has an entirely different internal structure because of all of its components are solid. Traditional lithium batteries have a liquid electrolyte. Solid state cells are made of a cathode, also known as a positive electrode, which can be created using the same materials as a lithium ion battery, such as LFP, NMC, LMO, etc. 
a separator that serves as both the electrolyte and is often made of ceramic or solid polymer, an anode fabricated from lithium metal or pure lithium. The solid state separator, which is represented by the gray middle layer, serves as the electrolyte and anode separator on its own. As a result, it serves as the medium through which the ions travel and has the ability to both mechanically separate the anode from the cathode and act as an electric insulator. Due to the existence of this sturdy, resistant support, the graphite structure on the anode part may be removed, and lithium metal will inevitably assemble directly on the anode, and there are also semi-solid solutions where the electrolyte is a gel. How does a solid-state battery work? When the cell is charging, the lithium atoms migrate from the cathode through the atoms that make up the separator and then move into the space between the separator and the anode's electrical contact, resulting in the formation of a solid layer of pure lithium. The anode will only be made of lithium ions in this way, and it will be less in volume than a lithium ion technology anode that also has a graphite structure. On paper, solid state batteries appear to provide several advantages over the commercially available batteries. In fact, solid electrolytes appear to offer higher energy density, a longer life, and greater safety, all in a smaller package. But it's important to keep in mind that this technology is still in the research and development stage and that lithium ion batteries continue to offer the best performance among commercially available technologies. These batteries come in a wide range of chemistries, each of which is widely accessible and produced in large quantities. But first, let's consider the benefits that solid state batteries have to offer. As a result of its volatility and increased flammability, the liquid electrolyte and lithium ion batteries is one of the most hazardous components and is absent from solid state batteries. Additionally, this is changed out for a thicker separator layer made of a material that is mechanically more resistant to high temperatures due to its composition of ceramic with various additives. This improves the separation between the anode and cathode so that it prevents short circuits even in the event of abuse or deterioration and as a result, the intrinsic safety of the cells. An additional benefit in terms of safety is the increased resistance to dendrites, or the sharp, uneven buildup of lithium that develops during transit from the cathode to the anode. Lithium actually moves unevenly and has a propensity to cluster, form points that develop and, in some rare circumstances, can puncture the separator like genuine pins. Solid separators, on the other hand, are more resistant to piercing from dendrites because of their thickness, which helps to prevent potential short circuits and the slow degeneration of the cell. In a special electric vehicle based on the Concept I from 2017, Toyota began testing solid-state batteries in 2020. The car maker claimed at the time that while the battery's quick ion movement allows for more output, their short lifespan is still a problem that requires attention. Be aware that Toyota is moving ahead with EVs full force now, rather than waiting for solid-state batteries. Beginning with the 2023 BZ4X and associated 2023 Lexus RZ, the car maker said late last year that it would introduce 30 EVs. EVs under its Toyota and Lexus brands by 2030. Hey, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching.